As a tear fell from Charlotte's eye she felt a very sudden spreading warmth in her pants. Unlike when she wet herself previously, this heat was decidedly lumpy and she could feel it solidly spreading throughout the rear of her diaper. Charlotte felt a strange sense of relief as she pushed the mushy poop out of her body. It felt good physically to not feel the need to go anymore, but it also felt good mentally. She had been worrying about messing her diaper for a long time and now that it was done with the fear of the unknown was gone. As soon as Charlotte felt like she was done she released her muscles and slipped back down into her own mess. She felt a shiver run down her spine as the soft layer of feces was squeezed further throughout her padding. As if to complete her ritual humiliation, Charlotte didn't try to hold her bladder back and she flooded the rapidly filling diaper. Charlotte wanted to shout for help. She didn't even care if it was Nanny who came in, she just wanted someone to change her out of diaper that was rapidly stinking up the air around her. The session still wasn't over and Charlotte quickly fell back into her daze as she was still in the chair and still watching the cartoon. It was roughly another hour until the cartoon suddenly stopped and it took Charlotte a couple of minutes to realize that this wasn't time playing another trick on her. The door opened and from the corner of her eye Charlotte could see Nanny walking in. Finally, Charlotte thought, the end of this horrible and numbing experience. She watched Nanny approach her with an internal smile similar to how a real baby would greet their mother. Feeding time. Nanny said emotionlessly. Charlotte's joy faded away and she let out some muffled sobs and saw the robot connect that same tube from where her breast would be to the pacifier attached to Charlotte's head. Charlotte saw the same white liquid start flowing down the tube and began to fill up the bulb inside her mouth. Charlotte gave the tea to suck and squeezed it between her tongue and the roof of her mouth. She felt the milk squirt into her mouth and the bulb filled again. Charlotte repeated the procedure and kept on feeding from Nanny. The cool milk did taste nice and she would take any distraction from the television. By the time the milk stopped filling up the bulb Charlotte was groaning from her full belly. When the tube was pulled out of her pacifier she took a couple of deep breaths and let out a long involuntary burp. She prayed that she would be allowed out of the high chair but was left disappointed when the strange television was turned back on and Nanny left the room. Charlotte didn't even get her diaper, now feeling cold and itchy, changed. It was another few hours, Charlotte had no way of knowing how long for sure before the screen went black. She had spent the last several hours letting the program wash over her and she just watched it tiredly. Twice more she wet her diaper and she knew that it wouldn't take much more to cause it to leak, she was surprised it had taken as much punishment as it had. When Nanny walked into the room again Charlotte didn't dare hope that this was the end of her time in front of the television. She could barely even remember when it had started, all she could see in her mind were those damn singing animals. Charlotte felt the straps that held her down get undone one by one and felt relief at being able to move again. Her aching muscles were thankful to be able to move again after so long locked in one position. As she slid forward off the chair she felt gravity pull her heavy diaper down and the tapes looked like they were struggling to hold on to Charlotte's hips. Charlotte didn't get to enjoy her freedom for long as no sooner had she found her feet than she found her being swept off them again. The heavy metal arm reached around her from the front and pushed the messy padding against the young woman's behind. She barely reacted, she just hoped she was going to be taken out of this horrible diaper. With surprise, Charlotte realized the nanny was carrying her out of the door which she had exited several times. The corridor had one door at the other end but Charlotte was carried through a door to the side. It wasn't the freedom she hoped for, it was a bathroom. The bathroom was very simple. The room was lined completely by tiles, all of them white. There was no toilet in the room, there was just a large bathtub with shower attachments. To the side of the room there was a sink and mirror. When Charlotte caught a look at herself in the mirror she gasped at how ragged she looked. Nanny carried Charlotte to the large tub and stood her up in it. Charlotte found her legs were feeling rather weak after not moving for so long but she was happy when Nanny reached forward and pulled the tapes off the diaper. It fell to the bottom of the tub with a loud splat and Charlotte blushed as she looked at the mess she had made, the smell was awful. Time to clean you up. 
Nanny said as she leant down and balled the diaper up. The machine seemed unperturbed by the smell of Charlotte's bowel movement. Charlotte shivered slightly as she stood naked in the tub. She wanted to fight back but she couldn't make herself do it, she felt too vulnerable and scared. She was so different from the Charlotte that had boldly broken into this facility and she wondered if that was the point of everything that happened. Charlotte didn't even know how long it had been. Was anyone looking for her? Did they think she had just taken a break? Charlotte wondered how long it would take for people to know she was missing. Ah. Charlotte was brought back to her present position when she felt a sudden blast of lukewarm water hit her. Charlotte felt the nanny turn her this way and that as the water washed off the filth that was still stuck to her. She blushed extra hard when she was bent over and the nanny spread her cheeks to wash her more thoroughly. She murmured complaints of being able to wash herself but these were predictably ignored. When the shower head was turned off and replaced, Nanny started running the bath and sat Charlotte down in the tub that quickly started filling. I can wash myself, Charlotte said slightly louder. The empty room caused her voice to echo. Let Nanny help to make sure the baby girl is clean. Nanny replied dismissively. Charlotte scowled in the tub as the warm water and soap was liberally applied all over her body. The nanny seemed totally uncaring about Charlotte's sense of dignity as she felt the hands rubbing all over her body no matter how private the area. When the bathing was over, Charlotte was lifted out, toweled down, and dried. She was prepared to head back to the main room when nanny stood her in front of the mirror. She was confused and a little humiliated to be standing there completely naked as the nanny started fiddling with her hair. The robot was seemingly combing Charlotte's hair as if she were a doll. It was almost relaxing for the young woman to have her hair groomed like this. She closed her eyes and stopped worrying about what was happening, she just tried to take a moment to relax. She thought back to her friends and family, the people she would see when she escaped. She would escape of course, there was no way this was the rest of her life. Charlotte remembered her favourite music and favourite TV shows, things she could look forward to. She smiled as she remembered one television show in particular. It was a show set in a small farm and it had these happy little animals who sing songs and... No. Charlotte's eyes snapped open with her sudden outburst. That damn cartoon was infiltrating her mind. But you look very pretty like this. Nanny replied. Despite all its power and control it clearly had no idea what was going on in Charlotte's mind. What dash Charlotte was cut off almost as soon as she started when she looked in the mirror and saw Nanny holding up her hair. To be more precise, the Nanny held up two braided pigtails that came out of the side of her head. I'm not a little girl. Charlotte whined as that old fire of annoyance welled up inside her, I'm an adult with a career. You are a baby girl. Nanny interrupted. Charlotte was about to respond when she was turned around and then lifted up by the robot. The cold metal arms caused the woman to shiver a little as she carried back through to the nursery. Charlotte reached up to feel her new haircut as she was carried over to the changing table and laid down. She cringed at her own infantile appearance as she was placed on her back. As she watched Nanny reach for a new disposable diaper she felt like she should resist in some way make a desperate break for freedom.